Something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I'd rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play Hey, 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 everybody. Oh, Lord. Well, let's be original content creators then since, um, ooh, child, since someone said that apparently if people bring things back up, then it's on us. Child, let's go ahead and be original over here as we often do. Everything on this channel is alleged in my opinions for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged in my opinion for entertainment purposes only. And is for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel selection, in my opinion, is for entertainment purposes only. Child, I'm going to just go ahead and say this now. Carlos King did his thing in this interview. Carlos King did this thing, 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 did this thing in his interview. So, Nini comes through looking gorgeous um in this turquoise outfit um hips legs and body body to use um candy's words and the words of megan the stallion the stallion body yaddy 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 um and just a glow to her and so the first part of it and y'all i took notes but i'm gonna break this up <laughs> because child Part two of the interview drops August 1st. So we got from today, which is, let me check the calendar, July 25th. So 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, the 1st. So we got seven days to wait. Seven days. I'm going to produce some videos off of this. But anyway, so basically, you know, catching up, all that good stuff, really good energy. And... You know, they, Nene and Carlos catch up about relationships and they talk about, you know, Nene and Greg and how Carlos is African king. Um, reminds, that <laughs> <laughs> Carlos and his African king reminds him so much of Nene and Greg's relationship. And they were talking about you know, just things in general, you know, you know, how's it, how the, how, how's the relationship going? What are you feeling? Nini said, do you like your partner? And Carlos said that he has a newfound appreciation for his partner. And to be quite honest with you, um, I do agree that at the end of the day, that as you are in a relationship, hopefully your connection with your partner grows and you know, Carlos said that he would like a boy and a girl. And then Nini said, okay, so who's going to get pregnant, you or him? And I'm like, child, this is what we're doing. <laughs> and so, and so Carlos asked, ooh, child, okay. Um, Carlos asked, you know, are you watching the show? And she said, you know, she doesn't watch the show, but she watches the clips of the show. Because she genuinely feels that, at the end of the day, that's the house that she built. And she doesn't like anybody being in her house. And I can I can get that to some degree. I mean, it's like when David Letterman, you know, left The Late Show, you know. 
he said, I probably will never watch The Late Show again because I have my memories of it, right? So, Nini said that she wanted this podcast to be in person. She wanted it to be in person because at the end of the day, she is she and they is they. But she liked it in person because... Sorry, y'all. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um... She wanted it in person because of the simple fact that at the end of the day, you do get to hear voice dialect. You do get to you get to see facial expression. Right. And, you know, I, I will I will definitely agree with that. I think there's definitely more that you could do in person than on a Zoom call. And so Carlos said, and I quote that, you know, Nini asked to be on his podcast and Carlos has asked many times before that when he first got started with Reality with the King that she was the most requested guest and Nini said something that I'm very proud of her for I think that every person um, celebrity or not should take this advice of that at the end of the day sorry y'all at the end of the day that she was not ready she was not ready to be on his podcast that she was not in a good space. And I believe that at the end of the day, you should always give your best when you have the best to give. Okay. So that was that. And they were talking about the first time that they ever met each other that, you know, Carlos was hired to be a producer on the show from season one. And that he was assigned to Deshaun Snow and also to Nene Leakes. And basically, <laughs> that, you know, struggling but living in happiness. And I thought that that was, I thought that was a very real moment, you know what I mean? Because here's the thing. We only know what these celebrities give us. And we only know from the reality they want to put on TV, right? And so to hear that in the beginning season, because they were a very low budget show, they only had like one man and they were not getting really paid as much as we all thought. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'll do another video. Um, maybe tomorrow, child, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to stretch this thing out. It might be a video a day on it, but we'll see. But. It was more about the mindset of, listen, just because this is where I'm at doesn't mean this is where I'm going to stay where I'm at in this position. So Carlos asked, you know, how, you know, are you doing, Nini? She said she's doing well. She's happy. She's comfortable. She's well. And so one of the biggest things was that, you know, in the first season of the show that Nini said, and I quote, that she did not feel like herself in the first three weeks of filming because she was trying to make sure that she was putting out something that people wanted to see and she was trying to hide the fact that she's from Queens, New York, but she has a southern twang and she did not know if her southernness would be accepted and that she had a 5,000 square foot house while Deshaun Snow had like a 15,000 square foot house and Sheree had like a 10,000 square foot house. So she felt within herself that how in the world am I in this position knowing good to doggone well that I don't have the resources to be able to keep up with the flow of energy that is being, you know, put out into the world. And, you know, from a mental point of view, I can definitely understand that. I think... You know, for myself, you know, coming from radio broadcasting, I went to Metropolitan Career Technical Center in 2012. Morning classes would be radio broadcasting. Afternoon classes would be at Parkview. And I definitely feel that most of the opportunities that I have received, it's like, what did I do to deserve this? But I think in the same token, though, you know, I th Robin Roberts said to Michael Strahan, that, you know, you deserve to be here. Because Michael Strahan was like, what am I doing here covering the Oscars? 
And Robin Roberts said to Michael, she said, you know, I used to cover sports too, right? You do realize that. I took that pause there to highlight the fact that sometimes we have to pause and recognize in other people that guess what? They don't know what's going to happen. That's that's very human. So I thought that was very real. And at the end of the day, what we see and what they know are two completely different um, sides of a story. There's our truth of what we see. That's their truth of what they go through. Then the truth lies into the middle. And Carlos um, asked, you know, when did you know? That the show was going to be a hit. For Carlos. He said that it was Sheree's party. Where. Um, Nini was not let in. She broke the fourth wall. And said you see me. I'm a housewife. <laughs> you see these cameras falling around me. And so. That's when he knew. That it was a, um, a hit. And so. You know Nini kind of felt that, you know, it was a hit a little bit later on um, in the show because that's when she started to really pick up, you know, gigs and, and, you know, gigs and um, connections and rising in different degrees that the other ladies were not doing, right? So, and Nene thanked Sheree for that moment and Carlos also admitted on his podcast, Reality with the King, that you know, that Sheree did block her, and so Nene was like, I always knew it, but why now, why, and so, you know, Carlos was like, is there anything that you would like to say, and she was like, no, why would I give her pointers, but I thank her, because it made me bigger, and so, (laughs) the energy, the energy, the energy, the energy, so, you know, just from that little part that I told y'all, this was a really good interview. I will have more. I'm not going to reveal it all to y'all. There will be live reviews. I think Chit Chat with QT um, is having her review tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I think Millie Chun is having her review at 7 p.m. Of course, I know all the content creators, you know, um, I, 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 Tea Talk with your girl will probably do something don't know if PBE will. Um, True Tea Caramel Rail will probably do something. Try to think who else. Um, here for Hot Tea. I hope Here for Hot Tea does something on this because her her mindset and how she flows and moves in commentary is just a class in session. Um, for sure, for sure. I know Sherelle's World will be doing something. I'm trying to think who else. Um, the Messy Girls Me Up when Tay Talks Drop the Mic Brown Skin Girl will be doing something. I'm trying to think who else. Um, Melody MC may do something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of all content creators, job because it's so many. Um, but yeah, I think those are the biggest ones that I, that I know right off the top of my head. If I did not mention you, it's not because I don't care, child. I follow so many of y'all. Um, well, some of y'all do, some of, uh, some of y'all I don't. Um, but I know some of y'all be hiding in the bushes <laughs> to figure out what's going on with these YouTube streets. But no, I thought that part of what I gave y'all was very, very good. The energy was good. And, you know, I have to give Carlos his credit because, you know, at the end of the day, to do something bigger than you to go after your dream to to try to find a way to make it to the top and be your own person is not easy so I will give Carlos his credit besides love and marriage Huntsville that's a whole nother thing but within this interview he did his job and I think you know in the words of Whitney Houston how you know Oprah said you know, are you ever going to talk about this again? Uh, no. This is the first and last time I'm talking about it. I feel like this is going to be Nene's first and last time ever talking about any of what she said in part one and part two of what is to come. So with that being said, that is it for this edition of Brayla Lee's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. Like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I love you. I value I embrace you all. I And just... 
there's no words to describe how y'all make me feel. Um, thank you guys again. Bye. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, by the way, um, I will be doing a virtual tour live today, probably around six o'clock. Um, because child, it's about to be a whole party tonight with this Nini interview with Carlos King. All right. Much love, everybody. Bye. Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I just spent my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight But you didn't know me Or you wanted That was a game to play Beginning, I just didn't know That you're an enemy I held too close Now I 